We're gonna make a Mickey Mouse wreath for Christmas because I had to lay to rest last year my Mickey Mouse wreath that was over uh, 10 years old. And this was on him, on the wreath. And it used to be my Christmas tree topper, but I just couldn't throw him out because he's beautiful. And we are gonna make a Mickey Mouse wreath with some stuff that I bought from Hobby Lobby. Very inexpensive, everything cost me less than 30 bucks. Plus I had Mickey Mouse already. We're gonna use a big, uh, I guess, wicker wreath and two small ones. You know where I'm going with this. I also bought some, some fillers, like a Christmas bow. Everything at Hobby Lobby is 50% off, so it didn't cost that much. See more of these. More of these guys. I, I didn't do so much because I don't like a heavy wreath. Um, heavy in the sense that I don't want it to be filled up and you, you can't see the Mickey Mouse outline of the wreath. Um, but it might be heavy for my door. So we'll see if if it doesn't fall, which is how the, the old one died from too many times of opening and closing the doors and having it fall on the floor. So I'm gonna show you, um, some of the supplies you're gonna need are some tie wraps. I have had this in my, in my, um, my arts and crafts drawer for quite some time. It's, it's like, wire embedded into like some natural fibers um so tie wraps the wreaths some fillers and i will show you what it looks like right now so see you see where i'm going with this it's kind of kind of look like this oh and you also need probably hot glue gun glue sticks um I might sit Mickey Mouse like right here. It's already starting to get busy and I'm not liking it, but we'll see where it goes. Maybe I'll cut these long or put them behind him. I would definitely, before you start uh, gluing and, and adding things, I would definitely lay it out first before you make a mistake. I think actually, that might be more than enough for this little guy. I don't know. What do y'all think? I kind of like it. And you can still tell it's Mickey Mouse-ish. Might bring him down a little bit more. I like it. Just add these little fillers here. More filler here. I think, okay, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So you can still see the outline. Probably put this here and this down here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the camera now to what I'm doing and I might do like a time-lapse video just depending on what it looks like as I'm doing it. I gotta heat up the glue gun. I gotta set up the tie wraps. I gotta start cutting these because this is going to hide the tie wraps that are going to go around this. I don't want the tie wraps to show, but I do want the ears to show. So I'm going to wrap this around several times to go over the tie wrap so you don't see it. Okay.
This is what the holiday wreath finalization looks like. Mickey Mouse was a little heavy on this side, so to counterbalance it from like tilting, I had to hide and add an extra suction cup here um, and another one here just to keep it in balance. So there's three suction cups holding it up, but that is the finished product and Christmas is well on their way at our house.